What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. I was born to motivate you to be excellent, man, to be great. I'm your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me on my Insta at your motivation guy. Bunch of crunch army. Where are you at? In today's video, we're going to be going over five common mistakes that you're probably making in cash cups. Chances are, man, you're allowing yourself to make these mistakes in cash cups or even arena if you don't play tournaments, and they could be costing you tons of points. But today, be encouraged, my friends. That's all gonna change, all right? Once you implement some counters to these mistakes into your game, you're gonna be much more consistent and place higher in no time. Remember, I believe in you, and this is going to be your year. And keep in mind, if you're looking for a one-stop shop to improve at Fortnite, then go to ProGuys.com. We're focused on helping you improve super fast, all right? We offer 24-7 on-demand coaching from pro players, pro courses from top-tier players like Mongrel and Benji, and live classes from our analysis every single day. You got to check us out if you haven't. Also, my show, Your Motivation Show, happening every Friday, 12 o'clock PST. So let's get into a bunch of crunch, Charmy. Yo, say with me. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch army. Let's get this going. Here we go. So the first mistake you're most likely making in Cash Cups and Arena is taking 50-50s in early game. Oh my god, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Landing at a place like Doom's Domain or Stark Industries is great and all, but not if you don't know what you're doing, and even then, you still have a good chance of dying. If you just go in and wing it, chances are you're going to end up going down really early in the game. Instead of just going into a game like a psycho and thinking you're just going to drop a 30 bomb, go in with the mentality of playing smart and aggressive, all right? There's no need to be ultra aggressive and push everyone when you're in a scuff situation, especially if you're landing at a super aggressive spot. What I recommend doing, guys, instead, if you want to play aggressive, develop a plan for early game that allows you to play aggressive and just really get kills, you know, without taking any 50-50s. One great example is what a pro NA West player named Reap99 did. Instead of landing straight into Caddy Corner, like most people would if they're landing there, he would land at this small building down the hill west of Caddy. By landing here, and I mean like right here, Reet was able to land, grab some decent loot, and rotate into Caddy while still having plenty of time to kill almost every player there and overall play out his early game without having to take a 50-50. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Overall, in your early game, try to figure out a method to avoid taking 50-50s while also giving yourself the option to play aggressive if you want to. Keep in mind, man, this applies to all contested spots as well. Not only the super aggressive Mythic POIs, The second mistake that almost all of us are probably making is not having a consistent strategy. Now, going into the game while knowing what to do is absolutely crucial when you're trying to play well, especially if there's money on the line, placements on the line, or points on the line, all right? Too many of us make the mistake of going into the game and just winging it. We're, like, we're just like, la, 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 la. But oftentimes, that results in a quick death. Guys, I can't tell you how important it is to know what your game plan is before you hop into a game. From your drop spot and loot route to your play style to your rotations, knowing this stuff ahead of time, yo, that's going to save you quite a headache when you're in the game. <laughs> and you're going to know exactly what to do no matter what situation arises. So what we recommend doing is writing down a zone by zone plan for your games. A zone by zone plan might look something like this. Zone one, land at the large building at weather station from the top loot the building and eliminate anyone contesting you. Then route toward Caddy Corner and make the decision to third party or rotate in. Zone two, position yourself in renewable builds, mostly wood or brick, somewhat close to the center, but not all the way in. Try to refresh materials by building your base on a tree or stone structure. For the sake of time, all right, we won't make a full zone by zone guide for this specific video, but be sure to set up your own so you can develop a consistent strategy and master your exact play style. All right, well, speaking of zone by zone strategies, <laughs> if you're struggling to master your rotations or any other aspect of your gameplay, feel free to talk one-on-one -on -one to our pro coaches over at ProGuys.com who can help you spot your mistake and take your game to the next level. And while you're there, make sure to check out our live classes and our variety of courses tailored to help you master all the different aspects of Fortnite. Man, it is going down. 
The third mistake in this video is one that impacts players of all skill levels, even pro players, and that's raging and tilting. Now, we've discussed this a lot in the past, especially on your motivation show, but this is something that impacts a lot of players, including most likely a lot of you as well. Tilting and getting angry in game, especially in a tournament where you have exactly 10 matches can cause almost a snowball effect where one crappy game leads to another crappy game. And before you know it, your tournament is over and you have like 10 points to show for it. Okay, so there are a few things that we do recommend that you can do to help yourself avoid this all right and they include taking short breaks after bad games to clear your mind got to do it limiting yourself to a certain amount of games per hour you know a lot of pros do three games for the first two hours and four in the last to make 10 games have some sort of object like a stress ball right or a towel or even something like gum <laughs> to help ease your nerves and distract yourself when needed stay hydrated and fed as well as these both help with nerves tilting and raging in tournaments is a big issue for a lot of players so make sure to try some of these strategies you know also always say if you're stressed like before you play uh, there's a really good chance you're gonna tilt so I don't think you should be stressed before you play like do something relaxing even before you play make sure your mind is clear and hopefully these are gonna lessen those issues and really allow yourself to really play better right The fourth big mistake players make in cash cups is not being focused. This one's a killer, guys, and honestly, it's a difficult issue to fix. Losing your focus and going into autopilot mode is a big problem for many intermediate players. The biggest thing that you should be doing to avoid autopilot mode is reducing your distractions and constantly giving yourself things to think about in game. Things like planning your rotations, right? Looking around for other players and other things of that nature allow you to keep thinking, which can really help greatly reduce the issue of being non-focused. Another remedy which a lot of pros use is chewing gum, like I just mentioned. I'm not sure of the science behind it, but from experience, chewing some gum definitely seems to help quite a bit. So try out some of these strategies if you're struggling with a lack of focus. All right, the final mistake that you're probably making in Cash Cups Arena and other modes is lacking confidence, which I talk about all the time, man. I really do. So a lack of confidence in your skills is one of the biggest issues you're going to run into when you're playing Fortnite on a competitive level. Sometimes it just feels like someone W King you is so good and knows what to do at all times, and it's super detrimental to really think like this. Confidence is insanely important in competitive as it really does allow you not to feel only better about yourself, but also it'll allow you to make great plays that you'd otherwise hesitate to make so to build confidence we recommend doing two different things all right first is to set small and attainable goals for yourself in a competitive sense all right these might be things like gaining 500 arena points or placing top 1,000 in a cash cup you know things of that nature that allow you to see visible progress and improvement while not giving you like some crazy unrealistic goals right the other method is to simply play the game against the types of players you're scared of and force yourself into the situation that you're not confident in if you get scared in arena, then head into arena and force yourself to push and W key players. This is going to allow you not to only improve the skills that you're struggling with, but it also is going to help you build confidence and realize that you're a lot better than you think. All right, with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for today's video for the top five mistakes you're probably making in Cash Cups and Arena, but we gotta do a recap. You guys ready? Here we go. The first mistake was taking 50-50s in early game. What are you doing? Don't do that. You can definitely improve by developing an early game plan that allows you to get good loot and then start fighting once you're confident in what you got. Second, we had a lack of consistent strategy which you can improve on by making a zone by zone plan and practicing the same strategies over and over again, you know, to drill them into your memory third we had raging and tilting what we talk about on my motivation show all the time now this one is definitely harder to improve on than most things but we went over four techniques that you can try using which is going to help like right away number four was being non-focused which you can fix by staying mentally active during your games and potentially using chewing gum yeah it works finally our final mistake was low confidence this can be fixed by simply forcing yourself into situations you're uncomfortable in and setting small attention goals that you can see visible progress all right guys once again this is your motivation guy man the guy who was born to motivate you to be great not only in this game but also in life i'm so proud of you guys i really am i know a lot of you guys probably haven't even heard that from anybody but i am proud of you so keep going all right man once again thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it drop a like subscribe to the channel join bunch of crunch army because we got a lot of things going on man make sure you do check out proguys.com for everything you need to do to improve at Fortnite, from pro coaching to our new live classes man we got so much going on bunch of crunch
Crunch Army, where you at? And uh, keep eating that bunch of crunch. <laughs> and let's get this going. <laughs>